All right, so in this tutorial, I want to go over making a uh, reflection for our, our, uh, our art asset over here to make a reflection. That way it doesn't look too floaty. All right, now it just looks like it's floating in uh, negative space right now. So make sure we're under modeling, poly modeling shelf. We're going to click on this. Okay. Uh, let me turn off the interactive rendering. This is the polyplane. Create a poly polygonal plane. All right. It says here P for polyplane one. Hit R for scale. And hit four. So we're in wireframe. And you see this uh, square in the middle. That's where we want to scale it up from. So I'm going to hover over it. Hold, up, hold down my left mouse button and I'm gonna just hold and drag towards my right that scales it up hit W I'm going to move tool 5 so that we're in shaded I'm gonna zoom in pull it down just enough so it's not intersecting with, our, with the other stuff there we go. Then I want to go into our hyper shade. Remember that guy right here, which is right here. Let me uh, delete that. Let me delete that. Okay. Now make sure we have under R node shaders. Okay. And. I want to introduce you to a shader called AI Shadow Map. Again, that's AI Shadow Map. It's a weird looking name, weird sounding name, but it has a really cool trick to it. So we're going to make sure we select our surface that we made and uh, hover over this. I'm going to right click on top of it and hold and choose assign material to viewport selection now you saw it it kind of changed a bit color wise that means it's assigned now i'm going to turn this on and it looks like nothing happened but what i want to do is i want to double click on that and then go under specular make sure we are under the attribute editor right here so before we were on the channel box now I'm gonna make sure we're under the attribute editor then under the specular I'm gonna make sure to turn this on so now you can see that it causes a reflection Whereas before we never had that. And then if I turn this on right here, this is your alpha channel, or you could call it that you could see the silhouette of your object. So here's our silhouette, but you can also see that we have a reflection. But the important thing is that you could also still see the silhouette. We'll turn it off. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show for now, just to how to show this re reflection on the ground. And again, we uh, made sure to go under the hyper shade, which is this icon, and make sure you're under R node, and then shader, and AI shadow map, and here it is. And then, uh, like I said before, we have it selected, you right click over it, hold it down with the right mouse click and assign material. I'm just reviewing again one last time. And then make sure when you see something like this, where it looks kind of confusing, like what happened, just choose here. And then uh, have this clicked on under specular.
Okay, so that's the end of this lesson.